Solve Problem 8.1 for Microelectronic Circuits 8th Edition by Sedrin Smith. Using two matched MOS transistors with W divided by L equal to 10, K in prime equal to 400 microamp per volt squared, and Thevenin in voltage equal to 0 0.5 volts, we want to design the circuit in the figure below to provide an output current IO equal to 80 microamps. We're going to assume that VDD is equal to 1.8 volts. We're going to neglect the effect of channel length modulation. We're going to specify the required value of R and the minimum value that VO can have while Q2 still operates in saturation. So let's begin. First, we know that IO is equal to 80 microamps. And take a look at this figure. So Q1 and Q2 form a current mirror. We know this because Q1 and Q2 are shorted together by their gates, and also Q1 has a diode connection. So I know that IO is equivalent to the drain current at Q2, and because Q1 and Q2 are mirrored, I know that because both transistors have the same width divided by length, K in prime, and V7 in, that ID2 will also equal to ID1. Or in other words, the output current will be equal to the reference current. And in order for this device to operate properly, it needs to be operating in saturation. So I can also equate this to 1 half K in prime, W over L, V over drive squared. Let's go ahead and solve for V over drive because I know all of my other terms. So V over drive will be equal to the square root of 2 times IO divided by K in prime, W over L, or the square root of 2 times 80 microamps divided by 400 microamps per volt squared times 10. This equals 0 0.2 volts. Now, let's go back to the question. We want to find the value of R. How can I find the value of R? Well, I know VDD. I already know that IREF is equal to 80 microamps. I just need to know the voltage at this node to solve for R. So what is this voltage? Well, we can see that it's the same voltage as the voltage of the gate of Q1 because of this shorting wire. And we also know that the voltage at the source is just equal to zero because it's grounded. So if I could find the voltage from gate to source, then that would simply be the voltage at this node. So let's try to solve for VGS. So we know that VGS is equal to VT plus V overdrive, which I just happened to solve for. So that's equal to 0 0.5 volts plus 0 0.2 volts or 0 0.7 volts. So that means that VG at Q1 is equal to 0 because the voltage at the source is 0 plus the voltage from gate to source, or 0.7 volts. So I can solve for R by setting it equal to the voltage at the top end of the node, which is VDD, subtracting it by the voltage at the other node, VG1, and dividing it by IREF, or 1.8 volts minus 0.7 volts divided by 80 microamps. This equals 13.75 kilo ohms. Lastly, we want to find the minimum value that the output voltage can have while Q2 still operates in saturation. So how can we find this? Well, for Q2 to operate in saturation, we know that V out cannot be less than or equal to the voltage drop from drain to source. Let me highlight this. So we know that V out is the voltage at the drain of Q2. And we know that for a transistor to operate in saturation, the minimum voltage from drain to source is equal to V overdrive. And again, because the voltage at the source is zero, we can just say that the voltage at the drain, the minimum, which is equal to V out minimum, is simply equal to 
V overdrive or 0.2 volts. So the minimum value of V out is 0.2 volts in order for this transistor to operate in saturation. And that solves the problem. Thank you for watching my video. For any questions or comments, you can leave them in the comment section or email me. Thank you and have a great day.